Must alert weather to the latest in breaking news. That helps bring everything to get. Make sure we have those dates all set. Well, tell the people who you are and where you're from. Week. Teacher at Newbridge Middle School. Now, Jackson officials with the school board say they are continuing with business as usual. It is indeed a graphic image. Just so you can see what's going on behind me, there are. That top part that you see in your screen right about here is where officials believe that the bicyclist was knocked off of the bike and off of the bridge into the water below. And, and co the Coast Guard has actually confirmed with us that this is a 17 year old boy. We just had the Coast Guard and the Carteret County Sheriff's Office come and give us some updates. Parents here at the New Bridge Middle School uh, say that they are disappointed to hear that Barrow was released on a $38,000 bond. Just for confirmation, there was a teacher that was injured and treated on site, now facing 19 new charges under the state's secret peeping law. But I also spoke with city management and more people here around the playground. It's upside down, that means that they released it, right? Yeah. We got a lot of education coming up here. We didn't have any big that blues that nice took place, Wahoo, but we did have some pounds. big heroes. Well, windy and rainy conditions are already beginning to persist in parts of the east. It's definitely a hurry up and wait scenario. Um, the president is actually set to uh, enter from over here on this side. The ride in the back of an ambulance can be unnerving for anyone, especially for children and infants. That's right, Courtney. You know, sometimes it isn't voting or casting your vote that's the hardest part. Sometimes it's finding a way to get there. Well, a couple of people here in Jacksonville are working to make sure that the folks in Onslow County don't have an excuse for why they can't come to the polls for this midterm election. A windy and rather early start. Uh, I got, uh, probably at six this morning. Robert Hudson and Sheila Holloway are serving as a shuttle for voters to the polls. We wanted to increase the number of people that, to vote. Didn't matter who you want, you know, you want to vote for. We just want to, you know, increase the number of voters. But for Mika Powell, I'm gonna just take him up the car seat. It's also a ride that would otherwise be a walk to daycare for she and her kids. There you go. So they have no transportation at the moment, but I'm working on it. After dropping the kids off. Time to go vote. Come on, let's go. It's straight to the ballots. All right, come on down here now. Also an exciting day and a first for Robin Chandy, who, born in India, says he recently received his American citizenship. Uh, new policies, whether it be like our price lines, uh, you know, taking care of our veterans. This this is going to play an integral role in determining a lot of things. What the future is going to hold for our generations. A first timer, a commuter, and a shuttler, all realizing the respective roles they play on election day. There's a lot of people I know that can't vote, but they want to vote. Like for instance, my fiance, he's incarcerated at the moment, and I feel like. I'm doing him a favor as well by coming out here voting. She wants to ensure that her future is set and voting was one way to be able to do it. So we just want to be able to support that. Any individual, it doesn't matter who you are, where you live in Oslo County, we want to be able to do that. Yeah, you know, doctor's appointments, daycare pickups and more were some of the stops that they made for folks who were also getting shuttled to the polls. And this was all in an effort to make sure that people had less excuses for reasons not to come out and vote this year. And if you're wondering, Sheila and Robert both say that they plan to do this all again come general elections for the next go round of elections. Reporting live here in Jacksonville, I'm Derek Rush, WITN News. Courtney. The video that went viral. You can go through life and live on the draw your paycheck on the first and the 15th from my taxes. And now Jesse Reed, the former teacher at Southwest High School, speaking out on his actions. Do you feel like things went too far? Yes, and, and, I, and I, I did go way too far on that. And again, like I said, I just I lost that fight. That fight, not one with students, but with memories from his time in the Marine Corps. I've been diagnosed with PTSD for since about 2015. Uh, during my interview, I, I made sure that I did mention that. Reed now says he's triggered by what he's not sure. He told us what ended in a viral outburst started off as an attempt to regain control of the classroom, saying students were resisting his request to put away their phones and showed me they sometimes even take videos during class on his phone. 
I fell in love with the emo girl. Hey, show this to your wife and let her. Reed denied statements on social media that gunshots were being played by students. Yes, so uh, I showed a, a clip from the Last of the Mohicans. It's the end scene where it shows the British marching away, and so those those were probably the gunshots that that people are talking about. And ultimately, Reed says he takes ownership for his actions. I don't, I don't want to become a rallying call for anyone. Be far left, far right. You know, I messed up. I had a bad day. I I lost my internal fight that day. Uh, I didn't recognize my triggers. I triggered and I lost. Right? Looking back, I should have walked out. I could have pushed a black button. I could have done a lot of things different, and, and I didn't. I lost that day. In Jacksonville, Derek Rush, WITN News. Just the day before Thanksgiving and people are already in Christmas the spirit. Because, you know, look around. It's, it brings the colors. It brings people. People and pets. They come everywhere with us. Yeah. yeah. Hitting the highways and city streets to meet family and friends. Well, you know, actually this year we wanted to do something different. And so what we're going to do, we're going to eat out for the very first time. And then we're going to hang out with uh, the grandchildren and we just shop around the community, look around. And as people hit the roads, law enforcement is urging everyone to be safe while they do so. The main thing we're keeping an eye out for is for speeding, um, also a few uh, DWIs, and then unbuckled drivers. New Bern Police Sergeant Monaco Hargett says state data shows more than 1,100 car crashes involve people not wearing seatbelts. Of those, 555 resulted in deaths. Look. <laughs> the sergeant urges everyone enjoying meals and maybe a strong drink or two during the holidays to steer clear of the driver's seat. The legal limit, of course, is a .08. However, you just want to stay clear of it altogether. If you've been drinking, you know, take the time to call someone, call an Uber. I mean, things are in place where you can get from A to, to point B. 